that kept me motivated, you know, hey, that's good, that's good. And so and not that I was going, oh, I could become this great chef or anything like that. It was just a way of passing time and then giving somebody the opportunity to to serve something that was, that it was created with my heart, with my hands. So eventually, though, something called supply and demand started to happen. Went into real estate, and every time that we had a closing, I would bake <laughs> for my for my customers, and so they kept telling me, uh, "Where do I get this?" How can I, can, how can you sell it? No, 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 I'm not selling it, I'm not selling it. And it was every time. So uh, I would prepare baskets of baked goods and things just to give to my customers. And so, you know, that created, oh, maybe there is something here. But um, I didn't want to look at it that way. Finally, she decided to make her passion her work. Okay, so it is what I love to do, so why not? And that's how I started. Using her talents to connect people. So what is it about food and cupcakes in your case that kind of gets everybody at one table and makes us forget about the borders? I love this. The customers that come here are from all over the world. So I'm not... I'm not afraid and I, I take it as a challenge to find out what, what they like. And sometimes I have recipes in here that I don't even know the name for them. But if they tell me what they put in the specific recipe for a name that I haven't even heard of, it just clicks. I know how to do that. So many customers would ask me, uh, can I have such and such product? And I said, yes, of course. Wait a minute, what is that? <laughs> so Baker Miss Betty found Northern New York to be home and her bakery to be the home where the heart is. This is, this is the way, this is where you love to be. This is your heart.